Hi guys, it's Michelle. So it's just a very quick kind of review um, on a foundation which I have and I just received it. It is by The Ordinary. Yay! Um, this was ordered so long ago but obviously they were very much out of stocking chasing their tails because it's so popular. Now it's The Ordinary Colours Cover Foundation that I have. It's the high coverage rather than the sheer. So the shade that I have is 1.2 YG, yellow undertones with gold highlights. So it says high coverage creamy foundation, softens undesirable hues. Shake well before use, dispense a small amount onto the palm or the back of your hand, smooth on and blend throughout the face, ideally outward from the midpoint. Okie dokie. I have already on my skin, I have applied some of my Sunkissed Vitamin C Serum, um, which is really nice. It's quite tacky and also can be used as a primer as well as a serum, which is good for your skin. So I'm just giving this a good old shake up. I'm going to pop three pumps onto my hand because I'm going to use my Real Technique sponge. So that does kind of, sponges tend to sheet out a bit more. However, I have actually used this foundation. It's not a total first impression. Um, I look really weird, like it looks like this part of my face is totally the wrong colour with the foundation because of all the redness that I have. But actually, if you look at my neck and the rest of my body, I'm actually very yellow toned. So it's applying nicely, very easily. my sponge is still pretty wet so that is absorbing a wee bit of colour. Now this foundation is so unbelievably cheap, so well priced and it's just amazing. That was three pumps that I've used and that's kind of on a very wet sponge giving a fairly full coverage to my whole face. It's covering up a couple of spots, blemishes that I have and it's certainly covered my redness. Obviously it's yellow toned. So I had used my Skin Kissed Vitamin C Serum to prime my face. Now I look very yellow. Obviously I need to sort out the rest of my makeup. What I am going to do is I'm going to add a tiny kind of Oops, not about half a pump that was, it wasn't meant to be that much. Just to these areas that were very red, I don't know if you can see on the camera, on here and here, but they are still a wee bit of redness peeking through. I don't want that. Oh, so, it'll be good once it's finished, honestly. Okay, so concealer, bronzer, contour, all that good stuff. Let's get a little bit going on, on my body. Very good coverage and it blends out nicely and then you can obviously layer that as well. Okay, so I have kind of like applied all of my foundation, so I know that my eye makes up really heavy, but the foundation, the Ordinary um, Cover Foundation, it's given really good coverage. It is, I would imagine if you've got oily skin, it's very, very good. Um, to me, it looked slightly, um, very, very matte actually. It looked very matte on my skin, but um, I have got dehydrated, um, I've got fine lines, wrinkles, so it actually feels really lovely. I have put on my kind of blusher, bronzer, the works. <laughs> I have like a pure full face on today, um, but the foundation, it feels really nice. Everything went on lovely on top. There was no kind of patchiness, no stickiness, no nothing. With the powder products, they went on really well. Oh, I don't know if that works. I don't think blonde works with the heavy eye stuff. So guys, basically, this is the foundation for now. Let's just keep that off. Who needs a wig? Who needs a hair? Bobby. Um, okay guys, so I will come back and let you know how this goes through the day, how it holds up. At the moment the time is 12.30 lunchtime. So I'm 
this is that. Um, yeah, so if you say half, um, well, you mid 12, but it was finished on, say half 12 anyway. Um, we'll go from there. I'll come back in a few hours. I'll let you see how it kind of looks on the face and give my final impression. But so far, still good from me. Um, it's played lovely. And I will be back very soon for the verdict. Mwah. It just didn't actually record. Here are a couple of our photographs that I took at the end of the day. These were about 10 p.m. last night, so this was after like about 10 hours of wear. As you can see, it didn't break up. It held really well. Everything stays in place. So absolute 10 out of 10 from me, and amazing price. So do check out the Ordinary Colors Foundation, and I do highly recommend it. And I'll see you all again very soon for another video. Lots of love. Mm -hmm.